We're continuing our journey through Proverbs 9, and we're in, uh, we're reading from verses 13 to 18 at the end of the chapter. And the, uh, this is the end of the speech from Lady Wisdom that's run through 8 and 9, and she's been presenting the benefits of following her ways. But here at the end of chapter 9, there's an insight into the opposite of Lady Wisdom. This is the, the, the woman, Folly the foolish, the, 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 the representing, represented by a woman as well. But she's the one that says she's loud-mouthed. Folly shouts out her wares. She makes her voice loud and, and heard. She sits in her doorway and she entices the foolish in. She wants people to follow her and to go downhill. Um, she, she, she calls out people who are otherwise minding their own business and says, come on with me. And uh, she says, stolen water is refreshing. Secret food, eat food eaten in secret, um, it tastes so good. And there's so much of this thing of hidden, uh, hidden secrets, hidden, hidden um, pleasures uh, that she's offering. But actually, the last verse says that they just end up in a dead end, literally a dead end. And going down that way, going down the way of the, uh, the, the, the loud-mouthed foolishness, this, this woman who stands in such contrast to wisdom, Lady Wisdom, uh, is going to just lead to no, lead nowhere. So here then the, 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 the wise man is balancing out the two, contrasting the two, and encouraging us all the time, choose the gifts of Lady Wisdom. Have a good day.